Mr. Worry by Roger Hargraves. Poor Mr. Worry. Whatever happened, he worried about it. If it rained, it worried that his roof is going to leak. If it didn't rain, he worried that all the plants in the garden were going to die. If it, if he set off shopping, he worried that the shops would be shut if we got there. And when the shops were shut and he got there, he worried that his spending is too much money shopping. And when he got home with his shopping, he worried that he'd left something behind. Or that something he'd fallen out of a basket all the way home. And when he got home, he discovered that he had nothing and it left anything behind. And had nothing to worry about falling out of his basket all the way home. He worried that he'd bought too much. And he worried about where to put it all. Life was just a long, long worry for poor Mr. Worry. One day, he went for a walk. He was worried that he might walk too far and not able to get home. But on the other hand, he was worried that he didn't walk far enough. He would get far enough exercise. He hurried along worrying. Or as you could say, he worried along hurrying. He met Mr. Bump. I'm very worried about you, he said. Why is that? Asked Mr. Bump. I worry that one of these days you might hurt yourself. <laughs> he said, don't you worry your head about that, replied Mr. Bump. It went off tripping his own feet. Mr. Worry went on. He met Mr. Noisy. I'm very worried about you, he said. Why is that? Asked Mr. Noisy. I'm worried that you might lose your voice, said Mr. Worry. Don't you worry your head about that, said Mr. Noisy. It went off. Clump, clump, clump. Mr. Worry went on. He met Mr. Greedy. I'm very worried about you, he says. Why is that? Asked Mr. Greedy. I'm worried that you might eat too much and be sick. <laughs> Explain, Mr. Greedy. Me? Reply, Mr. Greedy. Eat too much. Impossible. It went off for lunch. Mr. Worry went on. He met a wizard. Hello, said the wizard. Who are you? I'm Mr. Worry. And you look at... Got a wizard? Tell you what, he went on, for he was a helpful sort of wizard. Why don't you go home and write down every single thing that you're worried about? And I'll make sure that none of these things ever happen. He smiled. And you don't have anything to worry about, will you? Mr. Worry smiled. It was the first time he smiled in a long life. In fact, it was the first time he smiled that year. He hurried on with great excitement. When he got home, he sat down to write all the things that worried him. Every single thing. It was a long list. And then he had to bed and had the night's sleep he had in years. The following morning, the wizard came round to collect Mr. Worry's list. My goodness me, he said, when he saw the size of it. However, he said, Le leave it to me. I'll go off and make sure that none of these things ever happen. And off he went. Nothing to worry about now, he called his shoulder. Nothing at all. Mr. Worry heaved a sigh of relief. That day was the first day of Mr. Worry's life that he didn't have a single thing to worry about. And the next day, the day after, and the day after that, a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Mr. Worry didn't have a care in the world. But, on Monday morning, he was a worried man. Oh dear. What do you think was worrying him? Can you guess? He went to see the wizard. Oh dear, said the wizard when he saw him standing at his doorstep. What's worrying you? I'll tell you, said Mr. Worry. I'm worried because I don't have anything to worry about. And he went home to worry about not having anything to worry about. <laughs> no for death bomber poop his cat. Mr. Noisy just returned in this book. That was like completely nonsense. 
And you know, a brick wheat is not for, is not a burn. Wheat isn't a burn for that. Nonsense burning. That's completely burning. <laughs> oh man, let me stop. Always tap. Egas. <laughs> Mr. Noisy just actually exploded Google's. Google doesn't sell Facebook and slub.com. <laughs> And your meat is cheap. <laughs>